Peace everyone. This is about five children killed in daycare, center fire in Pennsylvania. And of course, nothing gets any worse than to evolve children. And you know, this is not what I expect it to be. But, you know, I mean, children are getting hurt every day. And this is not what I expected. And as you can see here in the picture, a man's putting stuffed animals down next to a pole or going to an early morning fire in Pennsylvania at a residential building housing a daycare center killed five children and sent the owner to the hospital, authorities said. So it was an early morning fire um, in a, as a residential building housing and daycare that's in Pennsylvania. Um, of course, five children and sent the owner to the hospital. So the owner went to the hospital and the five children, they were killed in a fire. The fire was reported in Erie, a northwest lake town at about 1.15 a.m. Sunday. Chief Guy Santone of the Erie Fire Department said, so the fire happened around 1.15 a.m. All right, so that's when the fire was reported. Um, it was a northwest lake town. Um, and of course, it was said by Chief Guy Santone of the Erie, Erie Fire Department. The victims ranged in ages from eight months to seven years, Santone said. The Erie Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership list a daycare at the fire address. So they had a very, the children, they were, raised, they were aged from eight months to seven years. So, and of course, you know, it's sad what's going on with these daycare centers uh, that they're not being um, safety precaution for some reason. And of course, the fire broke out into this. Um, you know, and, and these people that are watching their children at a, at the daycare, they need to um, upgrade to a better safety caution. But instead, this one happened at a residential, and of course, the owner was might have never took um, safety precaution of, of letting these children stay safe at all. Valerie Lockett Slepsky, standing across the street from the fire damaged house, said she was the grandmother of four of the children and that they were staying at the daycare because their parents were working overnight. The Erie Times News reported. She said the family had two boys and two girls and had used the daycare for almost a year. Yeah, so the mother of the children, they, she was working overnight. Well, both parents were actually. And um, so the grandmother says she was a grandmother of four of the children and that were staying at the daycare because their parents were working overnight. Why didn't the parents just leave them with the grandmother? <coughs> Excuse me. The parents should have left them with the grandma. At least they would have been safe. But the mother chose the daycare. And of course, this is sad what happened. The grandmother also said the family had two boys and two girls and had used the daycare for almost a year. So almost for almost a year, the parents had used the daycare. So we are all at a loss trying to figure out how this happened. Lock it. Lock it. Slepsky's told the newspaper so they're trying to figure out how this happened how did the fire start why did the fire start and you got to figure out every aspect of the cause of it the owner of the daycare was blown mm -hmm. to UPMC Mercy Treatment Stance Santone said he had a neighbor who was injured so Santone said that the owner of the daycare was flown to UPMC Mercy for treatment. 
um, he also said the neighbor was also injured as well, so we don't know the status on the neighbor. Chief Fire Inspector John Widomski told the newspaper that the fire appeared to have started in the living room area on the first floor. The department's two fire inspectors and three Erie police detectives trained in fire investigations are working to determine the cause of the blaze. So you got um, first responders, there was two fire inspectors and three police detectives. They were trained in fire investigations. So they were trained for the fire, to fire on that. And of course, um, they are working on determining the cause of the blaze. So whatever happened, something needs to be fixed. The, uh, the owner did not make it fireproof or something. It could it be the electrical system? Maybe. Could it be something else? Maybe. But it all depends on what happened. The chamber sites list the Harris Family Daycare at that address as a 24-hour, 7 days a week daycare service, including holidays. We provide transportation and teach kids age appropriate skills. The State Department of Human Services Office of Child Development and Early Learning listed the daycare as incompetence with requirements following a December 28, 2018 inspection. So this um, daycare was listed as a 24-hour, seven days a week child care service, including holidays. All right, so that means holidays, parents are working as well. Um, the State Department of Human Service Office of Child Development and Early Learning listed the daycare as it is in compliance with requirement following with a December 28th, 2018 inspection. But why didn't they, they, why didn't the owner of the daycare get an inspection this time? Why didn't they? Why did the owner not make this place a safe place for children? Why is it that the fire has started? <clears throat> How did the fire start it? Yes, they are working to determine the cause of the blaze. But who knows what it is this time? What could have happened this time? Did something not get inspected that it was, that was not, did something did not get inspected and it was overlooked? Maybe. But this is sad because children are being killed every day because you know people are irresponsible the adults are they're irresponsible for the children but the parents should have left the children with their grandma then this would have never happened and it's just so sad I mean that, why why kill these children this is just too heartbreaking to see children to go through this leave your comments below i am out